All right, well, I bought a unit for $10. It's actually across the pond, figuratively speaking. It's over there. It's that one right next to the door. Oh, there you go. Uh, so we're going to run over there and clean it out. I spent $10 on the unit. Um, I did bid on, I think, four units here. Uh, I did bid up one unit to $120. I did not get it. Let's see if we struck gold. All right, everyone. Welcome. Well, I guess we already did the intro, but... Uh, we are here at a storage unit. I bought this unit at auction in person for $10, so I hope I did all right. Looks like there's a lot of clothes. There might be some other items in there as well. It's also raining, as you guys can see, so it might be a little bit of uh, ASMR kind of going on unintentionally. But I paid. Oh, oh, oh. Paid 10 bucks for this. I hope I did all right, but I guess for $10, you really can't do wrong. What is that? I have no idea. Uh, it looks like there's probably going to be a lot of clothes. Those look like Air Maxes. What is this? I don't know, but we'll, uh, we'll jump into it and see what we got. These look like skylights of some sort. $10. Let's get into it. Okay, so right on the corner before this gets too wet is this nice Spider-Man that looks like a wall hanger. So that will probably be half of my money back with just one item. I think I'd probably get $5 for this at least. Um, probably could ask 10 It's something that I think if you are someone who likes Marvel or Spider-Man, you probably want it. Or you'd probably think it's cool for $10. So maybe I'd even make my money back just with that. We do have... <laughs> what the heck? Never even noticed that meme edition Monopoly still sealed. Wow, I don't know what this is. This you probably get at Walmart, but maybe you get it at Target. There are a handful of other things here in the corner. So, uh, oh, what is this? That might be for a leaf blower. This would be great on an airplane ride. Uh, probably need to be washed. Holy smokes, Jules Santana. Rick Ross. What the heck are these things? Oh, these are like uh, wire baskets. It's a whole set of them. Oh, this probably goes with that one. Or, no, they just have a bunch of matching. All right. They probably actually go to this. That would make sense, right? Sometimes you just have to put the, the two and two together. I still don't know what that wood thing is. It looks like a ladder, but I don't know. Another box of this stuff. Probably even shows you what it is. This looks like it's sealed. Reset lighting housing. That's exactly what it looked like. I don't know what a whole box that costs. This is what throws me for a loop is why is there a center console of a vehicle in here? And why is there a lid to a trash can with no other trash can? That I will never understand them, but that is a storage unit, and usually storage units never really make sense. In fact, every time I do this, every time I make these videos, everyone says different stories about what happened to the previous owners, whether you think it's a manager special, whether you believe that someone got kicked out of a building or apartment, or someone actually just put this stuff in here and just never paid. So I don't know the history on this unit. I didn't do my research, but it was all in here, and I paid $10 for it. I won't go through all these clothes because I don't think that would be too appealing. Ooh, what is this? That is an interesting looking mask. What is this thing? Glory University designer brand? I don't know about this. Well, maybe socks. This red jacket. Whatever heck this is, what is this? Well, that's Calvin Klein. Looks like a nano puff jacket. That looks very expensive. It looks very dirty, but it's not. It's just like the plastic. Maybe they wore it with that. So I'm really intrigued. At this whatever this blue stripe thing is it does say 47 on it so i'm assuming it's probably a beanie
Ugg boots. These look very expensive. They don't look like they're in terrible. They look brand new. They just look like they've been kind of crushed. Wow. 76ers. So I was right. That's like, I guess, a retro logo. 47 is the brand. They make a lot of headwear. Some more masks. Interesting. But I won't bore you guys too much with the clothes. Even though I feel like the unit's pretty much all closed. Oh, no way. Oh, my goodness. Some of you might know, some of you might not know, but I'll inform you if you don't. That bedding right there is worth a lot of money. Wow. That's the Polo Ralph Lauren bedding. Depending on the size of this, depends on how much this is worth. I've seen some of these sell for upwards of $200 or $300 used. They do come in a bunch of different colors, as well as a bunch of different sizes, but that is literally an insane find. One of the most expensive bedding you will ever find. I sold the pillowcase one time for $35. One individual pillowcase used. I don't know if that's a sheet, if that's a comforter. Not sure, but it uh, looks like a vintage one. Uh oh, this is one of those newer ones. M18, made by Milwaukee. It's one of those lithium ion. Don't know the value on this, but Milwaukee tools, one of the most expensive tools out there, especially as battery stuff. I can probably even do a little quick thing and show you up on the screen, but I'm not going to say any numbers because I don't have my phone out. But you guys can either see that's worth a lot, or you can see that I'm kind of just lying about the whole thing. But I feel like this thing's probably a lot of money new. And a lot of money might be different from people to people, but it's a lot of money for something I just found in a storage unit. I figured I'd probably mention this. This is probably the only hard good item I saw in here besides the stuff in the back when I was bidding. It looks to be brand new. It's a gumball bank. Made by Double Bubble. Sealed. Sort of. Box a little beat up. Be probably a good flea market or... Yeah, I'd say a good flea market piece. I don't know about eBay, but... Pretty cool. Um, I figured this would probably pay for the unit in itself. Don't know where you can get it, don't know the retail on it, but it was one of the very few things we saw aside from that bin uh, for when they opened up the door that I was interested in bidding on, but yeah, cool find. It's a really nice rug. Probably like five dollars for a rug. Carpet. A whole thing of squishmallows, even with the tag still on it. You have a pineapple, you have a zebra. I don't know what that guy is, that looks like a pig. Yeah, you can still see him even going through this side. It's a whole bag of them. I think it's a whole bag of them. Yeah, it kind of looks like that. Wow, they still have the tags on them. $13 for this one. This one still has the tag. That one does not have the price on it. Holy smokes. That one still has the tag on it. Holy smokes. They were selling this at the flea market last year. I saw a handful of people selling them. They look like they're all new. Amazing. This looks like just toys more squishmallows. But no, there's toys <coughs> toys at the bottom. Brand new gloves. As you guys see, I'm only wearing one glove right now. Um, I know I kind of do these things backwards, but when I clean out these videos, I do these clean out videos, I hold the camera with my right hand from time to time, and I realize I just keep losing my glove, and you can't hold the camera with a glove on. It's just, the camera's just too small and it covers up all the little microphone holes. Um, so that's why I only have one glove. So if it seems kind of counterproductive, film crew problems, maybe once we hit a million subscribers I'll hire someone. But until then, we're just rocking with it. They got more gloves. Made by Westchester. Moving right along. Brand new. Marble bag. It's the stuff that I'll probably bring down to Columbus when I go down there. Nice Nike pants. I don't know if these are vintage. Underwear. 
flip flops. I don't see anything else inside here besides clothes. So I won't, like I said, a bunch of tires, a pillow. I won't bore you guys too much with that kind of stuff because not really much to see in there other than seeing some shoes, clothes. I gotta find the. I don't know if the other UGG boot was in there, but yeah. All right. Looks like the top bag right here is just blankets. Oh, there. It's one bag. All right. So yeah, the uh, the raw floor stuff's the one that's on the bottom. It looks like there's throw up on the side of this bag, so that's great. But yeah, there's the raw floors on the bottom. There's nothing hidden inside these compartments of this. More sweatpants. This is what the heck's in here. Um, for your Nerf gun, this is three dollars and twenty-five cents. There's also this green box right here. Though I don't want to rip rip the bag, it is literally just painting supplies, a whole kit of it. Um, aside from that, some more Nerf stuff. But yeah, you might be able to. I'll even take you over here. It's just the kit. You got your rollers. Probably some brushes. It says a value of twenty-five dollars. It probably costs like ten dollars at Ollie's or somewhere. It's about it in there. It's probably about ten dollars of merch. Another brisk iced tea. It's got me. There's just more iced tea in here. Some pictures. One has people on it, so I won't show that. It's an old, it's not a real comic, but it's like an old comic. What is this thing? Ah, it's a wrap for your vehicle. Interesting. More Nerf related items. Turns me for a loop that there would just be like, that's a shark. It says shark. It's like stuff somebody would store plus garbage. Which I think after doing so many of these videos, I think that's just what people store is just a mixture of stuff. I don't think like this doesn't look like an eviction unit. It looks like someone put this stuff in here. See more marble stuff. That's not marble. Got a marble mask. This one's got some white, but I don't think it's anything crazy. Whatever the heck's in here is head. Ooh! Well, this is brand new. Uh, ah, these are for wood bits. They're for wood. See, it says wood with wood with nails. Do have some metal ones. I do have quite the collection that I've had. I've never had this brand. They're good for the saws all. What the, oh, yeah, this thing was really heavy. Bath and Body Works. Let's see what's in here. I know it drives people nuts, so I'll just edit out me trying to struggle with this. Oh, no, I got it. Holy smokes. Now, something like this, I would probably get rid of this stuff because you can see it's settled. I don't want someone getting a rash or anything disgusting from that. Um, anything like a bar of soap. There's a candle, like this is a candle. I will keep that. This I will keep. This candle that's down there I will keep. Uh, but these, the body wash and lotions, no, those gotta go. Because that stuff settles and sometimes it's not good if it's not the right mixture. And I don't want to be hella liable for some of that stuff. But that's all sealed. I don't know what this thing costs. Probably costs like 20 or $25. The value on that I don't know. This looks like all kids clothes. Uh, I usually end up donating kids clothes. Um, that looks like an outfit. I just donate kids clothes in, in case there's ever a, a local emergency. In fact, I do donate a lot of clothes. Um, it does have from time to time some unfortunate events happen in the area. And people ask on Facebook for clothes. So I do try to save a bunch. I mean, I have a bunch for the flea market. But a lot of this stuff I'll probably just put in storage. Or I'll donate if I can sell it. Not really too worried about the monetary value of clothes. In fact, a lot of things, but 
Uh, what the heck? It's one of those menu guys. Interesting. This is that. Q-tips. A whole bunch of jingles and joys. Bowls. Q-tips. Uh-oh, one of these things. One of these things. $15 at Marshall's. The bark is starting to fall off. Tower thing. Not a whole lot in this bin. Some cars. That's about it. Some more costume things. Oh, broken glass at the bottom, so I'm not going to dig through it too much. That guy. Down to like one bin. What the heck is this? Bathing suit. I feel like this stuff would sell. Before I touch base and figure out what's in this last bin, let's see what the heck these things are. Alright, so I think I figured it out. It's, uh, it's a chalkboard, like uh, for a, well it was a chalkboard. So I'm not going to unfold this thing all the way because it keeps undoing itself, which is probably a bit, it's falling apart on me. But anyway, it had different shelves, let's say it'd be like candles, and you put candles on each thing. And I'd say like candles five dollars up top. I don't know if this is in picture right now. I don't know if you can see this, but they say like candles up here on the chalkboard part. Say five dollars, and you'll have individual candles here. Or you can have mason jars, or you can have flowers. Anyway, it's really cool. Uh, my good friend from the flea market, he used to sell mason jars, and he had one of these. And so many people asked him about buying the stand. So I assume people probably still want them, even though that was probably eight or ten years ago. So I think I'm going to be able to sell it, just fine. And there's actually two of them, which is great. Oh, wow. The price tag's at the bottom. It was originally $100. It is off for 30% for $70. That's pretty expensive. I don't know if I'll get $70 for this thing, but I expect to at least get around $30 for, them, for each one. All right. Now on to the last. Oh, this is a black and mild. Oh, that's what that is, brand new. Uh, this is the last bin in a storage unit for only $10. And people probably ask you why you get yours so cheap. Um, if you guys watch my channel, you guys would see that it's not always cheap. It's not always good stuff. Um, it really just depends on if it's in person, online, what site online, what auctioneer in person, the weather, um, what time of the year it's a lot of things that go into it um, Today it's a day that's it's pouring. Uh, there's ice on the road, so it's not the best conditions Oh, oh you got bins you guys always know we're good for some bins and some Romex wire of a spider crawling around at the bottom nice nice uh, So yeah, that's kind of the whole thing with storage units This is a brand new or at least it's still in their waffle maker. We do have Christmas lights on top of Christmas lights. There's a handful of boxes down there. And then this one says Disney Magical Holiday. And it looks like Christmas lights or something of that variety for Disney. This is $40. Mickey Mouse Rainbow Wave LED Light String. It's 40 bucks. Looks like almost like a Lowe's or a Walmart. I mean, a Lowe's or Home Depot. So $40 for some Christmas lights. Interesting. Waffle maker. This is one of only two or three 
bins in this unit. I think there was only one other bin. And, wow, got some good things here for $10. Okay, in a blink of an eye, this whole unit is cleaned out, nothing left. As always, hopefully you guys enjoyed this wonderful treasure hunt. I'm going to try to get home and stay dry. But now I have to unload the van, which is always a fun part. I don't know where I'm going to park when I do that just because it's probably pretty wet outside. But that's for another adventure. That's for another problem. Uh, this unit was awesome for $10. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this treasure hunt. Thanks for coming along again for another wonderful storage unit video. Uh, if you guys want to see more real storage unit cleanouts, just like this, make sure to subscribe down below. I do have a playlist also on storage units. Uh, and of course, you guys enjoyed the video, definitely hit the like button so I know you guys enjoy this kind of content. And I'll catch you guys next time for our next adventure. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.